Since its establishment in 1966, the Fiji Electricity Authority has provided a secure and reliable supply of electricity to the nation. For many years, all of Fiji's electricity was supplied by large diesel generators. These generators used massive amounts of diesel fuel and pumped tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Fossil fuels are expensive, which in turn increase the cost of generating electricity. The carbon dioxide and other chemicals expelled into the atmosphere from burning diesel fuel contributes towards global warming and climate change. To provide cleaner and more affordable electricity, in 1983, the Fiji Electricity Authority developed a large hydroelectric scheme in the center of Vitilevu at Monasavu. Over the years, this scheme has generated an average of 400 million units of electricity each year. Soon after it came online, this new scheme was generating 90% of Vitilevu's electricity needs. The remaining 10% continued to be provided through diesel generation. But electricity demand continued to grow over the years and the percentage of Fiji's electricity provided by Monasavu Hydro Scheme began to shrink. By 2001, Monasavu was providing around 80% of Vitilevu's electricity needs. FEA began to introduce other renewable sources of energy to fill the gap and reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. The Butoni Wind Farm near Singatoka, the Wainikaso Hydro Scheme, the Nangando Hydro Scheme, and renewable energy provided by independent power producers using wood chips and bagas. These renewable energy projects provided for only part of the increasing electricity demand. There was still a growing gap that had to be filled by diesel generation. FEA developed an ambitious target for its renewable energy projects. By 2015, FEA aims to provide 90% of Fiji's electricity needs through renewable energy sources. In 2009, a new hydroelectric project commenced development in Nandarivatu in central Vitilevu. This new hydro project at Nandarivatu would provide 40 megawatts of electricity increasing the amount of clean, renewable energy in FEA's energy mix. This development will again decrease our reliance on expensive diesel fuel and help reduce the environmental damage caused by burning fossil fuels. The first phase of the project was to build a dam or weir in the headwaters of the Sigatoka River. This dam helped create a large water catchment area. The second phase called for the construction of an intake structure, which allows up to 15 cubic meters of water per second to travel through it. Next, a tunnel and penstock were constructed to convey water from the catchment area to a new power station. The tunnel runs underground for two kilometers. This tunnel leads to a penstock, which is a buried steel-lined pipeline that runs for an additional 1.4 kilometers. To produce electricity, water from the catchment area rushes down the mountain inside the tunnel and then through the penstock at a very high pressure, dropping 300 meters to the power station. Inside the power station, this pressurized water turns a turbine which generates electricity. The excess water is then released to the Mba River flowing just outside the power station and which provides water for the villages downstream. On 14 September 2012, FEA officially launched the new facility and began generating electricity. The new dam and hydro scheme at Andarivatu helps fill an essential mix of Fiji's energy generation. Reducing Fiji's reliance on diesel generation also helps to keep electricity costs down. With cheaper electricity, 
people will find more uses for it, helping build the economy and creating more jobs. For FEA, the Nandarivatu Hydro Project is significant. With Nandarivatu Online, FEA remains on its ambitious timeline to increase Fiji's number of renewable energy projects. In its 10-year power development plan, FEA, together with independent power producers, will invest around $1.5 billion to meet the growing demand for electricity. Using hydro and other renewable energy projects also helps FEA control the cost of electricity generation, even though the cost of diesel fuel continues to increase. The new Nandarivatu project is important for the local community as well. The development of the project has created roads to help people get to schools and hospitals. It has also created jobs for local people who participated during the construction phase. Some of these local people will stay on to help maintain the facility. Villages in the vicinity of this hydro scheme were electrified prior to commencement of this project as a token of goodwill and appreciation. This enables students to study in the evenings. It also provides villagers with electricity to keep food preserved, to stay in touch with national events, and to enjoy other benefits of modern living. For Fiji, the Nandarivatu Hydro Project and other renewable energy schemes are further steps towards maintaining Fiji's energy security. Having a secure and affordable supply of electricity is an essential component of Fiji's development. A stable, growing supply of electricity also promotes Fiji's economic growth. This growth helps create more jobs, helps make companies more profitable, and improves the standard of life for all Fiji citizens. Energizing our nation.